Hi, welcome back to another video. This is 2E0IQJ. So I've got ourselves a McBezzle frequency counter to play with on the channel. And what we do, do a quick review of the frequency counter. Then we go out and about. And then we'll uh, see how far this range is for picking up frequencies. There's one thing you must do first. Oh yeah, peel the plastic off the front there. Oh yeah, check it out. That is so satisfying to peel the plastic off the front there. And the one on the back there came off a couple of days after I had the unit. Now this is the McBezzle frequency counter. It does 2 to 2.8 gigs. On the bottom here you've got your function buttons there, 1, 2, 3, 4. It takes a standard BNC antenna and it recharges off 5 volts USB. Now the charge you get with it, just a generic charger, so I use my own cable. I haven't actually used the charger, I use my own cable and my own charger. And you do get the charge supplied, which is unusual. Normally just get yourself a cable. You also get the instructions in the, book, in the box. Get yourself an aerial there. And you also get um, a belt clip. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this radio I've got here, which is a Sennheix 8800, and we're going to test the frequency counter out. So let's put the antenna on top. If I press and hold F1, it powers the unit on because you've got a nice colour screen. Let me zoom in on the screen there. The top here, counts your frequency. It also decodes... CTCSS and DCS. This here is a frequency, um, a signal indicator. You've got F1 and F2, and that stores two frequencies in there. So if you go out and about, leave it in your pocket, and you uh, pick a radio signal up, it'll display it in F1, and you pick another signal up, it displays it in F2. If it finds any more, it overwrites F1. If it finds any more frequencies, it overwrites F2. You've got CTCS enabled, so you can disable or enable CTCSS, DCS. You've got the range, which is 27 megs to 2.8 gigs. You can change that to do 2 megs to 200 megahertz. Top there's analog. Gate will display the frequency. So, for example, if it's on gate 0.5, it do 145, 425. If I change that again, it add an extra digit. So 145, 4250. Another digit will be 145, 4500, and so on. And down here, if you can see that, it's going a bit closer. You've got power off. It's very hard to film the screen. Stop, menu, and about. And if I press about, and it says there, frequency counter for analog stroke digital DMR frequencies. Frequency range 1, 27, 2.8 gigs. Frequency range 2, 2 megs to 200 megahertz. Maximum direct in input signal, 5 volts PP. CTCSS and DCS. And I can press F1. So F1, F2, 3, 4, do nothing. F1 will get us back to the main menu. And you've got power off. Stop. So I press on stop because when you turn the unit on, it's ready to capture a frequency. Then we can use um, F3 to go up and down here to select different options. So if we go to F, press F3, see that it says that we're on Digi4. You can do C to CSS, F4 enter to turn it off, and F4 again turn it back on again. That's how you change the range. So 200M uh, and 27M to 2.8 gigs. Press F3. We can go analog and then digital and then when you go to digital it'll only do three digits and you can change the gate there so let's go to so i press enter it does one uh 0 0.10 0 0.25 0 0.50 so let's uh, press f3 we go down you can change the digit there to three or four and i can just press f1 there to exit zoom in on that one you can see the bit hard to see you've got exit run F3 and enter. So I press on, let's go back in. F2, which is run. Now I can press menu, and we've got another menu come up, and they can change the display time, power off time. So my display time is set to 10 before it goes dim. My power off time is 30. I'm not sure what depth level is, but I'll leave that to 20. You've got very different gates there. You've got your DMR adjust. So if I press on F2, which is edit. I can then use F3, focus please, yep, which is minus, and F4, which is plus, and change it. So let's go down, let's change that to say, so I want to come off in five seconds or five minutes. Let's change that to 10. I'm going to press edit. Let's go down again. Let's change the power off level. So let's change it, it for 25 seconds. Press on edit. Now when we press main, 
it says F1 exit, F2 saves. We're going to press on F2. Sorry, F4 to save. There we go. Now we can leave it in run mode, which it's in. If it's not in run mode, just press F2, which would be stop and run. And I've got the radio turned on, the Sennheix. We'll give it a key up. So frequency 1, I've set it as a CTCSS tone. And frequency 2, I've set it as a DCS tone. And there we go. Let's give it a key up. You see there, it says F2, 433. That should be 450. It won't display the 450. It'd do 4, 450 or 4503 or, say, 4502 or uh, 4999 and so on. And it displays the CTCSS there. Let's try the DCS tone. See if it displays that. You see there it says DCS 23.0 and it's saying now F2 is 145 Again, that's be either 525, 5252, 5253 or 4299 and so on. But you get to know the idea of the, well, general idea of the frequency that's being captured. Let's try that again. So, okay, yep. There we go. And we'll try number two. And there we go, it's now picked up the CTCSS and DCS are both in radios. When it stores it in its memory, it only stores it when the power's on, when you power off. So I'll have to power it off. So we're going to press and hold F1. Let's power it back on again. There you go, it's removed F1 and F2. Automatically starts up in run mode and it's ready to go. And you can count the digital radios with this as well. So let's go out in the garden. And see what sort of range it picks up the frequency from uh, the Sennheim radio. Okay, so we're in the garden. We're going to see how far the range is that this thing will pick up a frequency. We're going to use the Sennheim 8800 as our test radio, like we've done upstairs. And on the places somewhere in the garden, we'll zoom in with a camera and let's see if it picks up the frequency. Let me set it all up on the camera and I'll put you back on once I've got it all set up. Okay, so over on the stool there, I've got the frequency counter set up. Let's zoom in. The camera there, a bit blurry when you zoom in so far. I think this is an optical zoom, is this one? I've gone, I've gone 50 optical, there you go, that'll do 50 optical and then a, a few digital. So let's key up on 70 sems, which is 433450. There we go, check out 433450, 4502. There we go, that's what it's come up as. And let's try it on 2 meters, 145. 525. No, it's not picking it up. Let's see if it picks up a DCS tone from this this, this range. So let's change the radio. We're going to go to transmit DCS. So when I transmit now. Oh, it still picks up the DCS tone from this range. Lovely. So maybe I need to set the range in the frequency capture to uh, two to 200 megs. At the moment it's set to 27 to 2.8 gigs. But yeah, it's not a bad range. You can have it in your pocket and walk around a fair or somewhere like that where the radios are transmitting and you'll be able to find uh, the frequency of the radio. So we go to McBasil or McBasil frequency counter. And I got mine from Amazon. I ordered it on a Friday. It came on the Saturday. All the ones I've seen are coming from China. I didn't fancy waiting three or four weeks five weeks if it's going to turn up from China so I got it from Amazon next day delivery can't fault that now we did a range test on it and it worked no problems on 70 sems but didn't work too well on two meters at that, that distance so maybe I need to change the setting in the radio to go from 2 to 200 megahertz not 27 megs to 2.8 gigs maybe that'll pick up these 70, uh, two meter frequencies better now in a future video we're going to compare this frequency counter to these two radios here this is a Sennheim H800 and this is also the Psychotran, because both these radios have got a search and seek or search and search function, which basically does the same as a frequency counter. And the reason I went for the frequency counter as well is because this has got a much wider range. This will also do DCS and CTCSS decoding, whereas these will just display the frequency. 
anyhow, if you found it some amusing what to do, get a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7-3 for now.